Good morning and welcome to Sunnyside News where we bring you only the most positive and interesting information from the heart of Florida right here in Polk County. Today is Friday, October 9th, 2015 and I would just like to welcome everyone to today's program. One of the good news items that I found for you this week is having to do with knitters and crocheters. So, calling all knitters and crocheters. There's a nonprofit actually located in Canada that makes rescue nests for wild animals and they turn around and they donate all these nests, they're handmade to over 200 wildlife rescue organizations throughout the world. This organization in Canada is called, appropriately so, Wildlife Rescue Nests. So if you are a handy type of person, especially with a crochet or a knitting needle, get in touch with them. You can find them either at their website or their Facebook or even their GoFundMe account. The next bit of news I would like to share with you this week is about Cassidy, who was once a feral kitten who did not have a home. But not only did he not have a home, he didn't even have back legs. But now, thanks to Sally Roche, who operates tinykitties.com, where she live streams and highlights the antics of these adorable cats until they get adopted. Now, at the time of Cassidy's arrival at Tiny Kittens, he was severely underweight and actually had a life-threatening infection. Well, thanks to the hard work and love by Roche, Cassidy has survived. In addition, he is now sporting around in a custom-made wheelchair that was donated by Handicap Pets of Canada. Cassidy is still on the mend and may not be adopted right away, but there's certainly no stopping him now. Hats off to Cassidy. The third article I would like to bring to your attention this week is about Dr. Pamela Fisher. She is actually a holistic veterinarian in Ohio and she has started Rescue Animal MP3 Project. This is a nonprofit organization that provides music to animal shelters throughout the country. A survey of almost 500 shelters that has used music has indicated that it calms the animals down, it reduces barking and anxiety, and also stress. It's been found that by reducing the stress, the personalities of the animals surface and it actually makes them easier and quicker to adopt. So isn't that wonderful? Another news item I would like to bring to your attention this week is about Carl Bates. He's a farmer in Illinois who was recently diagnosed with a very aggressive form of cancer and he was fearful that he would not be able to harvest his crops in time. Well, after entering hospice, his family and a few of his neighbors got together and began putting the word out in town and through social media that Carl needed help harvesting his crop. So, in what would otherwise have taken a week to harvest, so many volunteers showed up that it was completed in just one day. Even local businesses donated food and beverages for the volunteers. Now, isn't that some sort of community spirit? The mystery photo I would like to bring to your attention this week is this and take a good look at it and come Monday take a look at our Facebook page to find the answer as to what it is. Some of the events I would like to call your attention to here in the heart of Florida uh, tomorrow on Saturday, October 10th, there is the Florida Women's Show in, at the Lakeland Center. It's from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. And you can find out further information on that by going to floridawomensshow.com. Also on Saturday the 10th is Family Fun Day at the Polk County History Center. That's from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. And the whole thing is free and they have monthly crafts that are suitable for the whole family there. Also on Saturday from 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. in Lake Wales at the Florida Natural Grove House, they are having their weekly event theme um, that is appropriate for the whole family and again um, it's usually a craft type event and it's free the supplies are included you can find out further information by calling 863-679-4110 as usual, I would like to leave this week's program with a quote for you, and that goes, What you are will show in what you do. And that was said by Thomas Edison. 
So that's our program of Sunnyside News this week. Thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you again next week. Go out, have a great weekend, and bye for now.